Hello, I'm Anthony. This is Bad Idea Metals. And uh, uh, as you see behind me, I've got some solar panels. We are finally getting onto the solar project. So um, before we can put the solar panels up, I have to treat them. So if you take a close look, the panels have been through some pretty bad abuse. Um, I believe they got dropped and I believe they may have been part of a storm. Like these look like hail marks, but so it suffered uh, some pretty significant damage. As a result of the damage, I was able to get them real cheap. I think I spent about $20 per panel. They retail about 200. So I 10% uh, per panel, as long as they function 10% as well as they normally would have, then I guess I got my money's worth. If they function better than that, great. So what I got here to do the sealant is just this uh, Rust-Oleum clear coat. It's the matte finish instead of the gloss finish. Um, I don't know if that's gonna matter, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a layer over the front and seal the cracks so water can't get down in. Um, there's three zones in each panel and if the water that penetrates this tempered glass gets down inside that diode and shorts it out, that zone is out. And I guess you could go and replace the, the diode. I'm not gonna do that. So first let's test these panels. And if they test at their, their open voltage, then I will clear coat them, let them dry. And uh, then eventually, hopefully soon, we'll get them up on the shed. Okay, let's get going. So first we're gonna turn our multimeter on. We want DC voltage. These larger clips, I believe, are the negative side. Maybe they're the positive side, but we're gonna plug that negative right in. Uh, hello. This is where a little bit of help would be nice, but we don't have it. That's in. That's in. And I'm not casting too much of a shadow on that. That's 36. If we turn it towards the sun a little bit, It does go up a little bit, but uh, yeah, 36. Let's go ahead and get the other one. So this reading is about 35. So maybe it's just the, the angle of the sun, the cloudiness of the day, or maybe we lost one of our three diodes in both of these. So we'll, we'll cover this. It's going to be something we'll have to keep our eyes on, but you can see some of these impacts. That's pretty crazy. So I've already cleaned it off. Um, the glass is sharp. So um, if you have panels like these and you want to do the same process, don't run your hand along it. Um, some of these areas feel uh, completely smooth, pretty smooth. Um, it'll jump out and bite you. It is fractured tempered glass. So do your best to uh, avoid running your hand along it. I only have five cans. It should be enough, but I'm gonna do a generous coating here. So we'll just get started. That, uh, that actually worked out really well. If you look across these guys, they're actually pretty smooth now. Like, even, even spots of incredible damage are sealed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, here's that major impact. You can see that it's the epicenter's right there and it radiated out. But that's completely flat. Like, that's pretty nice. There's another one on this panel over here, uh, right here. It's uh, you, There's a little bit of an edge to it. Uh, I guess if I really tried, I could cut myself on it. But it's, uh, it's actually pretty smooth. The other impact was right here. I mean, you can see that. But uh, if you look across it, it's, it's covered. It's covered pretty good. 
So, I mean, they're not perfect. They're still damaged, but uh, huh, you can see all my spray paint cans, but uh, they look pretty good now. Why don't we uh, take a new voltage meter on this? So I don't remember which panel was which. When we put them down, I didn't keep track of which one was where, but uh, they were both around 35 to 36. The sun has gone down a little bit more and uh, I'm standing in the way. But that's 35. If I get out of the way a little bit, it goes up to 35 and a half. So what I'm testing to see is if our matte finish makes a difference on the panel's efficiency. And it probably will slightly, especially at 100%, but the sun has gone down a little bit. We have changed the angle to face towards the sun a little. However, um, I think unless I do this exact same test tomorrow at the same time that I did the first test, uh, it, it really is gonna be inconclusive. But it's good to see that this is still about 35. Let's go ahead and test the other panel and grab our pigtails from out of the back. Positive in there, and the negative 34.4. And again, I'm casting a little bit of a shadow on it. So it does get up to almost 35 if I get out of the way. So that's about where we were. Well, I'm convinced that now that they're sealed, they'll last a little bit longer, and I didn't really degrade their performance very much. Yes, I probably did a little bit. Um, but let's face it, they were broken, and who knows what would have happened anyway. But uh, 34 to 45-ish, depending on sun angle, eh, okay. I'm okay with that. That's $20 each plus $15 worth of uh, clear coat. Let's go ahead and put these up. We'll be good with these.